So welcome to One Minute Wiser. This is Christy Bridges, and let's finish the story of Tommy. He was home for the weekend. Mom couldn't believe only one year left of college, and he'd be graduated. But he sure was sleeping late. She knocked on his door, opened it a little. Tommy, what are you doing in bed? You've got to get ready for church. Ah, uh, you go on without me, he said. What? She came in, felt his head. Are you okay? He said, yeah, I just don't do that anymore. She said, Tommy, you've always been a good boy. He said, Mom, I'm a good man, and I can do that without God. She said, what's going on? He said, Mom, I just get tired of defending God. Who knows if he's real? All the kids on my debate team have plenty of reasons why he is just made up. Tommy had been growing stronger in character. He'd become very successful in school. And by the time he got halfway through college, everything that he believed that had helped to make him strong seemed like training wheels on a bike. He could do it without God now, he thought. So 2 Peter 3.3 3 says you need to know in the last days, mockers are going to have a heyday, reducing everything to their puny feelings. They'll mock, so what's happened to the promise of his coming? Our ancestors are dead and buried, and everything's going just as it has since creation. Nothing's changed. They conveniently forget that long ago, all the galaxies and this very planet were brought into existence out of the watery chaos by God and his word. God is poised, ready to speak his word again. And it says, don't overlook the obvious here, friends. With God, one day is as a thousand days, and a thousand days, a thousand years as one day. God isn't late with his promise as some measure lateness. He's restraining himself, holding back the end because he doesn't want anyone lost. God doesn't need us to defend him. He wants a relationship with us. When we stay in touch with him on a daily basis and we give him our faith, he shows us his reality. God bless you.